And now we're still at this mage's guild tent here in Ebonheart, and we're going to check out the enchanting station. So here at this tent, we have we're going to use the enchanting station. Now I know you're seeing a lot of different things. It's kind of confusing. Enchanting has been changed a lot since Skyrim. In Elder Scrolls Online, you will be required to find rune stones, and those will be in tiny little stone boxes that you can then essentially extract the rune out of. There's three different colors. Uh, there is blue, it's a purplish blue, and it's a square. This is your potency rune stone. Um, then you have this triangle with the corners cut off. This is a yellowish green essence to it. And it is called the essence rune stone. You also have aspect rune stones. Aspect rune stones are circular and they determine the strength of the enchant such as common uncommon all the way up to epic. So here we have the creation tab and we're gonna go ahead and create a rune stone. If you'll notice I have a jode which translates into reduce. You're creating a rune phrase to make your enchants which turn into glyphs. Ode, as you can see, I am not skilled enough in my potency. I've not put points there but if I use it I will translate it. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to our rune phrase. If we come over to the essence tab we can find Denima and as you see since I'm reducing I want to make a glyph where I reduce somebody's stamina regen. So we're gonna add Denima. Going over to the aspect page I have Ta. I do have these I found but I am not strong enough in my aspect improvement to use them yet. I can use blues but I don't have any. So we're gonna do base and base is translated into the short, smallest one. Then you have fine and then you have superior and I'm assuming these two would just have a word for it's bigger and better. So right now because I've already done these three before I can now make a glyph for jewelry for trifling glyph of reduced feet. So reduces the stamina cost of abilities by three. And we're going to craft it. There are three types of glyphs you can create. One for jewelry, one for armor, and one for weapons. Depending on the rune phrase that you combine, you will make different things. I'm out of potencies, or else I would try to make one specifically for weapon to show you. But here we have the extraction page. Extraction is just like in crafting other things where you can add the item you want to extract and extract it to get a glyph back. And I got a jode, which was lucky. Because you can get a you can get a potency, essence, or aspect, but aspects are very few and they're also harder to come by, so farming them will probably raise their value. Uh, you can skill into increasing the chance of getting aspect runes but you only get one rune that I know of so let's go ahead and add that jode and since I know I want to do something that's going to be a weapon glyph we're gonna go ahead and add power and look there trifling glyph of weakening it does to to really get a better understanding you'll have to play around with it a lot and you you know you may have to reference a few websites, things like that, but after you get a feel for it, you can kind of understand what words make what. And we're going to craft that, and I'm going to put that on that bow you saw me make. And that would cover alchemy and enchanting.